Floss Tube. Welcome to the Mindful Needle. My name is Dawn and I'm glad you joined me today to discuss all things floss stitch. Um, hopefully uh, my cat will not purr too loudly. He's very loud. Uh, he won't purr so loud that uh, he disturbs us, but I finally got him to settle down. I have both cats here. We have Sasha and Buddy's down here, and he's the one that purrs very loudly. So I've got them settled down, so hopefully they will behave and not disturb me while I make this video. So here I am again. Uh, it's been a kind of a crazy week, I guess. As it gets closer to Christmas, it's only going to get crazier and crazier. And can you believe it's like two weeks until Christmas? I'm like starting to freak out. <laughs> I have so much going on. <laughs> um, as I was getting ready for this video, I was noticing, oh gosh, it's a good thing I have a hair appointment next week because my hair is starting to get shaggy. I have uh, just over a week, now, not this weekend, but the following weekend, um, I'm in a musical program, uh, Christmas program. So I have been practicing like crazy and it's coming faster than I thought. So I'm getting a little nervous about that and waiting for the gifts to arrive. I've got things that are all out uh, in various stages of being shipped and I'm crossing my fingers I get it all before Christmas. So anyway, here we are just before Christmas and uh, that's what it is. So I have just a few things to, to show you today. Um, lately, I have been working on some new designs. Uh, we just got the call from, actually it's an email from uh, Just Cross Stitch Magazine looking for uh, submissions for the October issue next year. So I have started charting a few things to submit for that. So that's been keeping me busy, but I have been working on a couple of other things. Uh, last week I showed you my uh, Luhu stitches fluffed that I had started and I've made some great progress on that. My sheep is almost, all the white is almost completely done and I'm, I'm really excited about this one. So, here she is, and it's getting there. So I'm real happy with the progress on that one. So in addition to that, uh, I went through um, my work basket that I had out in my Four Season room. I brought that in for the winter because we close off that room because we can't keep it warm enough. So. That room is now closed off, and so I brought in all my stitchy stuff, and I was going through that work basket, and I came across a Christmas piece that I had started uh, earlier this year during the pandemic, and I thought, wow, I forgot about this one. So I picked it back up, and I started stitching on it. I know it won't be done for this year, but there's always next year. It is a Lucy Beam Love and Stitches design. It's called Home for the Holidays. And my progress on this one is such. I did not have the called for fabric and I did not have it calls for a 32 count and I had no 32 count in my uh, stash at the time. So this is a 28 count and I'm doing it over one because my piece was not big enough for me to do it over two. It would have been pretty much right to the edges and I was not going to do that. So uh, I am doing it in all the called for colors. The only thing I have subbed out is the DMC gold for the wreath. Um, I'm using a gold thread that I had because the DMC gold was just a little too thick and I didn't like how it was coming out. So I went ahead and subbed that for a thread and 
Um, so I've been working on this. I picked it up again and I just, here's the picture. So I still got quite a ways to go, but I've got almost a quarter of the house done. So that's exciting. So I'm working on that. So those have been my two projects that I have been working on as well as designing. I did go out this week. I had gone over to my parents' house uh, to practice with my mom because we're playing four hands on the piano. So we've been getting together every few days or so and practicing together. And when I left there, um, I needed a couple of uh, things. I needed like some uh, boxes uh, for gifts and some wrapping uh, paraphernalia, gift bags and things like that. And I thought, there's a Dollar Tree right here. Let's go into the Dollar Tree and see what we find. And of course I found all that stuff. But as I'm meandering through the Dollar Tree, I was surprised in the little craft section and I, you know, it's not huge, but they do have a few things and sometimes you can find some fun things. I actually found fat quarters of fabric that weren't too bad. And so I picked up some fabric. So I'm going to show you the four fat quarters that I picked up. I actually picked up five, but I got a duplicate of this first one. I really, really liked the sunflowers. And the reason I picked this up is one of the designs uh, that I have in my mind has sunflower at least one sunflower if not more in it and I thought this is a great fabric and I, I I just liked it so much that I wanted to pick it up because then I can match my threads to the fabric <laughs> instead of trying to find fabric to match the threads that I chose so sometimes it's easier to work that way so I picked up that one and then they had this really cute green gingham and I thought this was great together so I had picked up two of the um, sunflowers just so I had them and I picked up a green gingham and the beauty of this is these were a dollar a piece. So that was great. I did pick up a uh, Thanksgiving fabric. Uh, there's words on it like gather and grateful and thankful. And I thought that was cute. So I grabbed some of that and they had this really, really cute um, Christmas fabric. So I grabbed this while I was there. I love the deer and the, the buffalo check uh, trees and, and the words on it, peace, love and joy. And I just thought this was great. So I picked up a little bit of fabric on the cheap. <laughs> And it's actually not too bad a fabric. I didn't think it was actually too bad. In fact, I've gotten, I think, worse fabric at, or fabric that feels thinner and not as substantial, I think, at Joann's. And this is actually not bad for dollar store fabric. So if you have a Dollar Tree near you, check them out. They had fabric. So I thought that was kind of cool. So uh, that's all I have to share with you today. Um, I know it's short, it's sweet, it's the holidays, we're all crazy busy. So um, I wish you peace and love and joy in this holiday season. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Um, I'm gonna try to get on next week and then the following week is Christmas. So I don't know, My I have my nephews are coming back and I'm gonna be helping with my mom make cookies and all kinds of things to get ready. So I don't know what that week will be like, but I should be back next week. But I did wanna wish you all a Merry Christmas. And um, I invite you, if you have not, please subscribe and come back. Um, I have a bunch of ideas for the new year, uh, some uh, educational, videos I want to do some things uh, if there's something you've been wondering about or would like to see explained leave me a comment below and I'd be happy to try to answer your question maybe do a video and help more people out that way so um, be looking for those and so I invite you if you haven't already please subscribe uh, hit that subscribe button 
hit the like button on this video for me. That would be awesome. And then if you want to be notified when I do release my new videos, if you ring the bell, you'll get notified. So do all the things and uh, we'll see you back here next week. And I hope you have a great week and happy stitching, everybody.